Hello everyone, welcome to Green Academy. Today we are going to look at the forces and dynamics of a car on a slope. The question reads, a car of mass 1500 kg is moving up a slope that is inclined at 14 degrees to the horizontal and the car is moving at constant velocity of 15 meters per second and has a resistive force of 1000 Newton acting opposite to its motion. So uh, what is the truss provided by the car's engine? Now uh, as we can see the diagram below it shows the car moving up the slope. Now it will be good for us to label the forces acting on the car. So we have the weight of the car which is acting vertically downwards. This is the weight and then we have the normal contact force which is perpendicular to the surface of the road and they say there's a resistive force of 1000 Newton which is the we can call it F the drag force and of course there's going to be the engine thrust let's label this T now these are the forces acting on the car now what we are interested in is the thrust now there are some key things to note that the car is moving at a constant velocity of 15 meters per second that tells you that the acceleration is zero acceleration up the slope is zero now what we can do is we can resolve the weight into two components remember the weight is acting vertically downwards but there will be a component of the weight along the slope so if you have to resolve the weight along two components one perpendicular to the slope okay this is the component perpendicular to the slope and another parallel to the slope so um, what we have here is the two components and do note that this angle is actually if you do your trigger this is the same as the angle of inclination which is 14 degrees and if you get your trigo right the component here is w cos theta and the component here is w sine theta so what we have here is the components of weight okay which have been resolved along the slope now we are only interested in the forces along the slope because what we are keen to find out is the thrust so uh, we write an equation let's make this a little smaller give us a bit of space now um, the thing to take note is this this angle theta is nothing but this angle 14 degrees so now to write the equation we have along the slope we have the thrust minus the opposing force of 1000 Newton minus W sine theta which will be equals to ma now we have already written it out that the acceleration is zero so this is zero so the forward thrust is equals to the opposing force plus the component of weight acting downwards and we can put this in 1000 plus mg sine 14 degrees you sub in the total values 1000 plus 1500 which is the mass 9.81 sine 14 degrees you solve it you get 4560 Newton and you can also make it to 2SF which is 4600 Newton okay so we got the trust and uh, this is how you solve this question hope this helps thank you